Hi everyone, this is Amy with Amy Plans Things and today I am going to be using Wrong Wrong's latest release, the DIY planner release and the Cozy Winter sticker book to give you five beginner planner tips for using functional and decorative stickers. So let's go ahead and jump in, decorate a page, and go over my five tips for you. This planner is absolutely stunning. My favorite part is that you get to choose the discs, the cover, and the insert all separately to create your perfect planner. And these covers are stunning and they're matte, so they're not shiny at all. So we're just gonna set that to the side so I can give you the actual planner tips. All right, so tip number one, is to layer your boxes for a fun look. Wrong Wrong has already done this for you in a few places right here. You can see how there are different items all layered along with the decoration. So you can totally just use these stickers for a quick, easy way to have layered stickers, but if you've run out or you wanna try it yourself, this is how I do it. So first I'm gonna find a good base sticker. I'm loving these bigger boxes, so we'll use one of these. Let's use this one, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just looking at the spread for where I want my stickers to be. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here, kind of across the weekend, because sometimes I have things that I write in my planner that are going to go across the whole weekend because it's a weekend long thing or it doesn't matter what day it happens on. Okay, so then I personally like to have two other boxes with it so that we can have a total of three boxes. So we're gonna grab a circle and another sticker of some kind. So I'm just looking. I don't wanna use this one because they're both very patterned you totally could. I like to have one that's a big pattern and two that are more neutral. So this one does have that cool cabled knit look, but it's very light. So it's not gonna be overpowering this one at all. But let's go ahead and put one here and one right here. So I like to layer them over it and just have them on top of each other. I think it looks really cool. So with that, once you've layered your boxes, you're going to want to find something that is decorative that you can put in, like some of these stickers. So let's go ahead and figure out what we wanna put with it. Let's see. I'm loving that candle. I don't want anything too big. I love this coffee. These candles are nice too. Okay, so what I'm going to grab are these candles and these books. So these books are gonna be great with it, I think. I wanna put them right on top of here, but let's just check. You can kind of see the line a little bit through it. So I'm gonna grab my whiteout to white out the line so we don't see that through the sticker. So we're just gonna try to get as close as we can to this. And then just layer the book right there. That is close enough. All right, and then the candles we could either put here or over here or down here. I am liking it down here. And again, we've got a little bit of this to cover up and then we can go ahead and lay that down and you have a nice layered section. All right, so my second tip for you with this is to use wax paper if you're unsure of what you wanna do to test out the stickers before because you can pull them up easily off of wax paper. So I've gotten some and we're gonna create another box like this but on wax paper so I can show you how easy it is. So let's grab the other box of the size that this big one was. So where did that go? Okay, here it is. And this is a nice brown kind of knit. So we are also going to use something a little more patterned with it since this is more neutral. Okay, so 
let's say I'm thinking about putting it here so I can lay my wax paper down and move it around to see where I want it. And I think, do I want it all the way over? No, I think I want it right here. So I'm gonna leave it like that while I find the other boxes that I wanna use. So let's go ahead and grab this beautiful circle and then grab a plain box. And this could be a bigger box because we have a little more space over here. So let's go ahead and grab the blue. All right, so now I'm just gonna reposition this so I can see where it is. And then I can just look at how it lines up and play with where I want these stickers to go. So, thinking maybe over here, maybe just like this, I think that would look really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this one down, trying to make sure that I'm keeping it straight. And then we'll go ahead and put this sticker right there. So we've got this nice layered section. And again, I'm gonna choose two, maybe three decorations to put with it as well. So one thing that I think would look really nice is this sticker is already cut all the way to the edge. So you could just put it like that if you wanted to. Or we could change our plan and move this down just a little bit and put it all the way along here. I think that would actually look quite nice. So we're gonna do that and change our plan. So that's the benefit of the wax paper is you can kind of create these things and see how it's all going to look. Okay, so we put that one down. Let's grab one more sticker for either down here or over here. I think I'd love to see this one. This one looks delicious and we can just lay it down right there. So then we have this nice thing and again you can look at where you want it. You could move things around. But let's go ahead and pick this up to lay it down. First we're gonna make sure that we leave enough space for this. So I'm gonna pick this up off the wax paper because that one is not attached. And I am going to fold the wax paper like this to make sure I'm leaving enough space and then try to line this up where it'll fit. See how easy that was? And it fits perfectly here. So now I know that this is kind of one of those clear stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and white out this section again. You don't need to do that, but I like to when I'm using one of the stickers that might have the line behind it. Okay, we're gonna put it right there. I have a little bit more to white out here. Alrighty, so we can move that aside. Okay, for tip number three, I just kind of did it instinctually, but we always wanna look at symmetry in your spread from page to page. So I like to look from corner to corner, from either way, from bottom to top, or from left to right. So I like to have stickers have a balance. So in this case, obviously I did the corner in the corner, but I could have put it here and it would have been balanced as well. So it's really up to you how you wanna do that, but I like to have a similar number of stickers kind of on both sides of the page. Number four is to use a box sticker along with stickers to make a space for a to-do list or for a gratitude list or something like that. We are going to find a nice box sticker to use with some dots or some snowflakes or something like that. Typically, I would use this section, but we've already used this, but we have this beautiful section down here that does not have lines to break it up by day. So this is a great place for a to-do list when it's just tasks that it doesn't matter what day of the week it goes on. So I think we can go ahead and do that. And so these are some good stickers that might work. Uh, these two are set up for that. You also could use any of these ones sideways. 
So let's go ahead. We've got a lot of blue already here. So let's go with the brown on this side of the page. And I'm just gonna put it right here. So we have our box and I want a little bit of gratitude in there for this week. And I like the snowflakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some snowflakes and we're gonna put maybe three snowflakes in there and there are different colors to choose from. So I have a brown snowflake and a light blue snowflake and let's get a darker blue snowflake. So we've got that and then you have all the space to do other things with as you'd like. All right, for the fifth tip, it is to not forget about all this space around here. And granted, you will be putting the date here with date stickers, so we don't want to use up all the space. But you can decorate it and make it really, really fun without taking away the functionality of the planner spread by going around the outside. So we are going to grab some other stickers and just do that. Decorate around the outside. So first, I am going to grab this sticker because we used that one and just put it right up here to start. And I will trim off all the edges of any stickers that I use just at the end. So I'm just going to go through and grab a whole bunch of stickers and place them all over the edges. So we will put stickers like over this eventually that say the date. But I'm going to go ahead and try to not have too many go over the date spot. So like that. And on these edges, I'm not gonna worry about whiting out everything, but again, you could if you really wanted to. This cat is so cute. All right, we can get some slippers in here. And as you're doing this, don't forget about the part right here. You can totally put things over the edge. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and trim this one first and then down the middle as well. So we've got some slippers like that. And again, I'm gonna take the extra sticker and put it down the side because we can also put smaller stickers down the side without taking away the functionality of Sunday. Put a snowflake there. Then I think we have space for a large sticker here. So I'm trying to figure out which girl to use. We've got all these wonderful ones. This might fit really well. This one will fit perfectly. Okay. So we're just gonna put her here and fill up that space. So again, just making decoration all around the edges of the page. All right, then we've got this. We probably want to leave some space to use it so we don't wanna take up all of it. But because this box is here, I want something big over here as well. So I'm thinking, This is a great sticker for that, just to put right in the corner. And again, I'm gonna trim the edge right at the end. So it does layer over into this, but that's okay. All right, so a few small stickers down here, and then we've got the edges done. All right, let's see, which ones do we wanna cut going that way? some of these in. I think these will look great there. Let's do this one here. This one down there. All right, let's trim these all up.
right, I feel like we can get a few more stickers down here for going around the edge. So let's go ahead, since we have the slippers kind of around, let's add a pair of slippers or boots, <laughs> hugs, whatever, into the corner there. And let's add a little drink right down here something tiny right there. Maybe just a snowflake since we have a few snowflakes up top. All right, so now we've decorated all the way around the edge. You can make this as wild as you want. You could literally ring the entire thing with stickers and it would look super cool. But now we're looking at a spread. We've done our five tips, but the spread isn't quite done because I can get a few more things in here for functionality. So we're gonna add a few more boxes and maybe a few small stickers for decoration. So let's go ahead and grab, we don't have any of the white or beige stickers over here, so let's see if we can find something that'll bring that together. Let's see, here's this one. And let's find another box. And since we have less space, we are in this little section. We're only going to do two stickers. So let's go ahead and put it like this. And again, layering it because I love that look. <laughs> All right. So another way that you can do that that I'll just point out is you can put one of these stickers underneath and then layer some of the box stickers over, just sticking slightly over it for another layered look. Okay, so for this one, let's choose this sticker. We have a little bit more space up there, so I might go for three boxes. I might go for two, I'm not sure yet. Let's put these two down and then decide. So I'm gonna put the blue one up here and then the brown one like that, again layered. And let's grab the wax paper and decide. Okay, here's a nice decorative one. So it could go something like that. Or another way I like to sometimes do layering is see those two are touching and this one's off to the side just as like a way that it just goes a little bit past these ones but it's still part of this cluster that we're creating. So I think we'll do that. That sounds like a good plan. And then I need maybe two decorative stickers, one for each cluster, just to bring it all together. So we do have the candles over here and I see a perfect spot for like a candle or maybe a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. But I think the candle, because this one cluster doesn't have blue in it and all the other clusters do have blue. So let's go ahead and put it there. And then this one, maybe I will grab the drink with the book and I'll put it right below it this time. All right, there we go. So this is the completed spread. I gave you five beginner planner tips for using functional and decorative stickers. Let us know down below if you have another beginner planner tip that you'd like to share with everyone. We'd love to hear it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.